Hey everybody, welcome back to Run a Gun, and as always, thank you for joining me. I'm so glad to have you guys back this week. And in case you missed my video last week, be sure to go and watch it. I gave away a free LUT, my cool and lifted LUT. And one of the first comments on that video by Terry was, can you explain how to use this LUT? So that was my mistake. I gave you guys something for free, and I didn't explain how to use it, so that's my bad. What? It's cold out. There's like, there's a blizzard going on out there. Leave me alone. So that's what this video is going to be all about. I'm going to explain to you what a LUT is, how it works, and how you can use it to make your videos and photos that much cooler and look awesome when you're editing. So, without further ado, let's talk about what a LUT is. So what exactly is a LUT? Well, LUT is actually an acronym, and it stands for Lookup Table. And a lookup table is kind of like a formula, where you'll take your footage, you'll apply the formula, or your LUT, and you will get your final footage at the end. And your LUT is just a way to interpret colors to get your final footage. So LUTs are commonly used today as color grading presets, but they essentially started out as a way to match footage from one camera to another. An example of a time where I would use a LUT would be, let's say I shot some footage on my D5, and then I shot some footage on my Panasonic GH5, which I'm using right now to shoot this video. I could apply a LUT to my D5 footage to make it look similar to my GH5 footage so that when I edit them both together, they're gonna look kind of the same and I could apply the same color grading at the end and then come out with a pretty cohesive looking video and the footage doesn't look too terribly different so your eye can't tell that's a D5 and that's a GH5. So there's actually a very common trend right now of LUTs being used as color grading presets, which is really cool. You can take a LUT and you can save your color grading preset as a LUT and apply it to all your videos or all your photos. Let's say you wanna use it on Instagram and create a common theme for your photos. A LUT is a great way to do that. One downside to using a LUT as a preset for editing your photos or video is that it doesn't save things like sharpening, uh, vignette, noise removal, gradient filters, stuff like that. So you're still gonna wanna add those other things after you apply your LUT to your photo or video. So let's go into Photoshop and After Effects and I'll show you how to apply a LUT to your photos and videos to get some awesome color grading techniques. So once we have our LUT downloaded, be sure to download my free cool and lifted LUT on my last video and you can follow along and do all this with me as we go. So once we download our LUT, we have to put it in a place where Photoshop and After Effects can find it. So what we're gonna do after we download our LUT in my Mac, I'm gonna go to Applications. I'm going to open up Adobe Photoshop, go into Presets, go into 3D LUTs, and as you can see, I dropped in my run and gun cool and lifted LUT. So now I can find it in Photoshop and After Effects. All right, so now I have Photoshop open, and the easiest way to do this is to find your adjustment window. If it's not open, you can always go up to Window Adjustments and that'll open your Adjustments window. So what I'll do now is go down to Color Lookup. I'll click that and it makes a new Color Lookup Adjustment layer. And the top little drop down menu, I have the option to load a 3D LUT where I can take a 3D LUT from a file. But since I already put this in my presets file, I can just scroll down Yes, I have a lot of LUTs, and I can find Run and Gun Cool and Lifted LUT. So we'll apply that. It takes just a second to load, and as you can see, we just applied my Cool and Lifted LUT right to this photo. Super easy. And if you want to get a little more complicated, you can hit Control J, duplicate that layer, and add a little bit more of the effect if that's not enough for you. Or you can go and you can turn the opacity down on the layer if that LUT is just a little bit too strong. Or you can combine different LUTs and make something really cool. Let's take a look at After Effects and see how we can do the same thing. All right, so I just opened up After Effects here and this is just as easy as Photoshop. Now you can either apply the LUT directly to your layer or I recommend making a new adjustment layer and then applying the LUT to the adjustment layer just so you can have some options to edit it just a little bit. So I will make a layer, new adjustment layer and go to effect, utility, apply colored LUT. 
super simple. And I have this set just so it opens up my 3D LUTs file where I dropped it in my Photoshop presets. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and find, let's see, run and gun, cool and lifted LUT. There it is, open. Give it just a second to load. And bam, there we go. We have a LUT just like in Photoshop. And it's just that simple to edit LUTs in Photoshop or After Effects. And I can turn that layer on and off. I can go into the adjustment layer and just like Photoshop, I can turn the opacity up or down depending on how much I want that LUT to affect my footage. That is all for this video. I hope you guys learned something. Make sure if you haven't seen it already, check out my last video. Make sure you download that cool and lifted LUT just so you have another asset to use for your videos and your photos to make them look awesome. So make sure you guys subscribe down below so you're entered to win in that studio giveaway that's coming up at 1,000 subscribers. And make sure you're hitting that notification button so you know when I'm giving away free stuff like cool LUTs and awesome stuff like that. So until next time, make sure you get out there, go shoot, and keep an eye out for a LUT pack that I might be dropping pretty soon. See you guys next week.